So I went ahead and opened these Batman Movie Series 2 CMFs. I wasn't into LEGO back then when this series came out. So it was up until now I got these. Got them on a good deal on Amazon Prime Day. Apparently they only limit you to 3 per account I guess. Because after ordering these I tried ordering more in a second transaction. But it just wouldn't allow me. So I got here... Apache Chief and Wonder Twin Zan. You know, up until now, I had no idea who these guys were. I had to look them up online to verify them. So I didn't even know these guys existed. So that was a thing. And um, here we only have two. And in my third bag, it was also another Wonder Twin Zan. So that was a bummer. What are the odds of that since it's just only three out of 20 of these? So I'm probably... Uh, so I put them back in the bag and probably I'll give it away later or something. Logically, after making a video of this truck and trailer, I really think I should be disassembling it because it is taking up way too much space on my floor. But disassembling it is just as time consuming as building it. Also, giving it some thought and having an idea from some friends, I have something else in store for this thing so stay tuned for that. Got my Lego Shop at Home box delivered a couple days ago. Guess time to open it up and see what we got. Alrighty, got a little bit of a haul here. I got some Looney Tunes CMS, my first batch here. Hopefully I'll get the majority of them instead of having some duplicates. So fingers crossed, please. And I have two more of these police cars for a project I'm working on. And it got... These gift with purchases, got them for free of course, and got this shipwreck ride, that looks pretty cool. Got a nice little fun build, and I got a Dots poly bag, so I'll figure out what to do with this later. So I'm at disassembling the Millennium Falcon right now, it's been sitting on the shelf for years and it's getting very dusty, and so I decided to take it apart, clean out all the pieces, and maybe rebuild it later. Or sometime in the future, doing this while I'm re-watching Clone Wars because why not? Because it's such a great series. And does anybody else disassemble it the crazy way I do? I disassemble it by unbuilding the step by going backwards on the manual all the way up to the front. Step by step, mainly because just, just to make sure I have all the pieces and not missing anything. So, who else is crazy as me? Oh no, curled up manual, look at that, oh god, that's horrible. Alright, just getting started here on the first two pages, watching the Tour de France while I'm building it. They're currently on stage 5 right now, but I'm re-watching stage 1, or I'm watching stage 1, not re-watching it, because that's how the way it is, and also, Apparently there's a there's a major incident that happened. There's a major pileup that happened during the stage one. So I'm kinda curious to see it. Well I've already seen it. I just need just wanna rewatch it. Wave the flag, here we go. The beginning of Tour de France 2021. That uh, suggests a big finale of sprinters and uh, the climbers and the GC contenders all rushing to the line. And this is one of the uncategorized climbs. You can see just how hilly this region is, Phil. Uh, hilly? About the four is that even a word? Also making his debut along with so just finished bag two here. I gotta say, looks kind of done to me because I, I see a scout trooper helmet right now. You got the the black visor, that tip on the front. I was like, okay, guess I'll leave the rest of the bag sealed. <laughs> no, still watching the Tour de France. You know, at this point, I wouldn't even call this stickers anymore. It looks more like a blank. A blank stick stickers. 
Working on the last bag, it's just there's too much stickers right here all in one go. Honestly, stickers is not really a big problem, but if you overwhelm this much stickers in one step, it's, it might be too much. And I'm a guy of perfection. If, if any of these stickers get slanted, it just drives me nuts. Holy! That is a disaster. Holy! One of the biggest power ups I've seen. Yikes! Oh my god, that guy. I hope he's okay. Right there. Right there. Yikes. Damn, this guy got hit hard the most. Ouch, ouch. Oh boy. Got another Lego shop at home package. Alright, looks like we got a ship theme here. We got a Lego Creator 3-in-1 pirate ship. They're offering double VIP for select sets and this was one of them. So that's a win. And we also got another gift with purchase for free. Another ship ride set. So that's a double win. So there you have it. Just grab these Harry Potter books from the table where I store my other Lego. I think it's time to break them down and bag them up to give some room and put it into storage. Well, they've come Maybe through. Maybe that was to the start of the climb. They've come through the 10k banner already, a, a k and a half or so ago. So closing yeah, in so on the last the start. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Phil! Oh, oh, no. oh Yikes! I was still watching stage one of the Tour de France and we still have already have a second major pileup. Second major crash. Oh boy, this this tour is sure getting to an interesting start. Yikes. And I'm still working on disassembling the books. And just like that, all four books are now disassembled, bagged up, and getting ready to be tucked away. That certainly took a while, but it was all worth it. Now we have more space for new sets in the near coming future. So I guess this is where we're going to conclude. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little mix of videos that I made throughout this whole time. Hope to see you next time. And in the meantime, keep on building, folks. Yeah.